All right, let's discuss long offers. Long offers convert like crazy. And this is the psychology on the long offer. And I'm going to explain to you what the long offer is. Let's say I have a video that's 45 minutes long or longer. I have someone that watches that video from start to finish. That, my friend, is a hot, hot lead. And if I put the right thing in front of that person, most of the people are going to buy that are in that long funnel. Part of the reason that long copy converts, long offers convert, is it's an investment in time. And if a person is going to invest 45 minutes watching a video or 30 minutes reading online copy, they're pretty interested in what you're talking about. Hyper interested. And this is one of the reasons that you need to consistently put out offers on all of your copy. I know you're going to hear like you shouldn't be selling all the time. Well, let me go ahead and hip you to a few secrets to YouTube. Typically, let's say a video has 35,000 views, right? Probably 10,000 have watched from, no, not even 10,000, probably like say 30 or 40 or maybe 50 have watched from start to end, maybe 100. And out of that 100, you'll get three to four that convert. Part of the psychology to creating offers that convert is knowing where to place the offers. So I do a lot of stuff, but my best converting offers are long form. This is what I do. I'll put an opening. I'll put my little prompt there. Then I would say something to suggest, say like, hey, watch the end of the video. There's something special for you. Now, many people are not going to watch the end of the video, but that's fine. That's cool. And then uh, what I'm currently doing is placing a long form offer a commercial, if you will, of 5, 10, 15 minutes and talking about what this person gets. Now, I haven't done this in a while because I've been figuring some stuff out. When I used to do storage auctions, I used to do this all the time. I used to always be selling, always had something in the video, and I was always making money. Now that I've hammered out what we're doing here in Hustle Camp and Hustlers Kung Fu University, I'm going to start that process again. And it's going to be a strong hook. It's going to be who I am. Then there will be the long form copy embedded with little hooks. You, you'll have to watch it to see it because uh, I'll do a diagram later. And the video would be 20, 30 minutes long, maybe 40 minutes long. And also about my energy and enthusiasm. That has a lot to do with it because if I make a video and I'm not feeling too energetic or and the video is still good and I still get 50, 60 percent of people to watch all of it. But when I'm like really on, when I'm really excited, that's when... I get those 70 to almost 80 to 90 percent watch through rates. And that's when the conversions like go through the roof. Part of putting together such an offer is to know what your numbers are. And that's something that I am going to discover with this new process. But to keep it simple, let's say for every thousand hits you get on your video, your copy, your blog post, you make one sale, which means, OK, so I get one sale for per thousand hits. So if I get 3000 hits, I get three sales. What if I, what can I do to get more traffic to this offer? And the only thing you can do is pay traffic or you can do influencer marketing or you can do a sponsored post, which really crank down the offer. When people sniff out advertising, they immediately and consciously avoid it. That's why you have to be sneaky. And I'm very sneaky about this because I will craft a video and I won't really talk about what I'm selling until minute five, minute six. And then I'll kind of bring it up. Boom, this is coming up and don't talk about it anymore. Because what you have to do is orientate your content around the offer and teaching people Hey, this is what we do. This is how we do. It sounds like on the front end that teaching people what's in the course, actually working on the course will actually convert. No, what really converts is the promise of the offer. When you say, hey, how to start a business with no money down and 300 and some thousand views later, it was the promise of that offer. So if you want to convert, you must make a big promise 
fulfill the promise or get close to it in the copy and then at the end have a device that can help solve their issue. Let's go back to the storage auction books. Hey, this is Glenn and Cameron, making money A to Z with self-storage unit auctions. If you want to learn how to be a boss in the storage auction business, or you want to learn how to be that guy like a vet, go ahead and get the book. So the promise is not only will you be successful, but you'll be confident. You'll be like a vet. You'll have that feeling because all sales are emotional. Every last one of them. There's an emotional component to that sale. And the biggest converting emotional hooks are you'll be confident. You'll look good. You'll do well. Not so much the money. It's just you have this feeling of being powerful and being confident and being capable. That stuff converts like crazy. And you'll start to see more of that in my long form copy. This is really somewhat of an advanced technique because let's say you go ahead and you learn how to create long form copy and you learn how to really hammer it home, but you don't have a big audience. That's a problem. So for now, you should stick to direct response marketing, making short offers, many offers for six months to a year. And then you can practice the long form copy because it takes a lot of practice. Uh, I'll put up a video and we'll discuss this later in this course or I will probably put it in creating video that makes you money because it makes more sense for it to be there. But there's like 32 things that I do in a video and the video could be like three, three to four minutes long and I still do those 32 things. That's the format to sell stuff. That's the formula to sell stuff. And it's very, very powerful if you're using it in the correct sequence. Because first, what should we have to do? We have to get attention. If you're not getting attention, there's no party. Then after we get attention, you have to develop trust. And this is where long form copy really, really comes in handy. It does a great job of developing trust, giving you authority, making the reader or the consumer of that content feel like, yeah, this is the guy. This is my boy. This is my dude. I can do business with him. That's what you want them. You want them nodding at points in your copy. You want them like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because when they have those emotions, that's when they buy. You can get attention. You can get a trust. But it doesn't convert unless you do it in the right sequence. And that's something that we're going to discover and explore in the next section.